Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, how to install any tools or packages in Kali Linux and similarly how to remove the tools or packages in Kali Linux. So first let us open the Kali Linux. So I'm going with the virtual machine. So here I will give the username and password to enter into the Kali Linux. So once we got the terminal, so I'll tell you the command and see. So the command to install tools or packages in Kali Linux is so in the prompt just give sudo which is nothing but a super user eapt get which is nothing but advanced uh, packing toolkit and from that we are getting the tool install and tool name so this command will install a particular tool in the Kali Linux similarly removing tools or packages in Kali Linux so how can we install uh, or remove the existing tools so for that also just go with the command sudo so that is a super user do and uh, apt and auto remove the command is auto remove and uh, followed by the tool name so this is a command which is used to remove the tools or packages which are available in kali linux now let us install one tool called wireshark wireshark so it is a tool which is used to capture network traffic so whatever that network traffic is available so from the ethernet so obviously from the ethernet or wireless or bluetooth etc etc bluetooth right so we'll discuss more uh, uh, regarding this wireshark in our further sessions leave it now this is one tool which is available in the kali linux and now we'll see how to install this wire wireshark in our kali linux by using this commands so now i will show you the installation and as well as the removing of this particular wireshark so go to the kali linux so there is a terminal here so first let us type this wireshark whether it is available in the kali linux or not so there is not available see command wireshark not found but can be installed with a sudo apt install wireshark hyphen qt so do you want to install just go with the no now use a command what is the command to install the kali uh, tools in the kali linux sudo apt get install to name so use that one sudo apt get install tool name so tool name is wireshark so it will prompt for the password just type the password it will not be visible on the screen no need to worry just go with the password just type the password and press enter so automatically it will start installing the particular tool you can observe here after this operation 12.1 mb of additional disk space will be used so do you want to continue or not so if you press here y it will be continued if you press here n it will not be continued right it will be aborted so just I will go with the Y so it will continue so you can observe the installation process is going on so once it was done so we'll we'll use a command Wireshark so and we can find whether it has been installed or not so it may take some time so meanwhile so subscribe to our channel and follow our videos
So hope you can see it was almost done. Just a three percent is left. Yes. So everything is being done automatically. So you can just sit and relax until the installation process is completed. See, so we got a prompt that implies the process has been completed, right? Now we can check. So I'll go with a clear command. It will clear the screen. Now we can simply type here the Wireshark, the tool name, and press enter. Automatically, the tool will be opened. So you can observe this is a Wireshark network analyzer, right? So we can check the network traffic either from a Bluetooth or Ethernet or any other uh, wireless system or any other thing, right? So here uh, uh, you can see the options bluetooth ethernet any like that you have to select and uh, you have to execute so just leave it so we'll discuss in our uh, next sessions so this is about installation of wireshark now our system our kali linux is having the tool wireshark now i just want to remove this wireshark so in order to remove this wireshark or any other tool the command is sudo apt auto remove tool name so just go with the same command so sudo apt auto remove tool name that is a wireshark just now we have installed so just press enter automatically it will start removing the thing see after this operation 12.2 mb space will be freed because everything related to that particular tool will be get deleted so do you wish to continue if you press y it will be continued that means it will start removing the tool from the kali linux and if you press n the process will be aborted and the, the tool will be remained same so I'll go with a Y because we, we need to uh, remove that one. So Y, yes, and press enter. See, automatically the process will be started and it will be removed from our Kali lens. So it will be very fast when compared to installation. So the complete process has been done. Now the Wireshark tool is not available in our Kali Linux. So you can observe, you can check. So go with the, again Wireshark. See, again we are getting the command Wireshark not found, but can be installed with the sudo apt install wireshark hyphen qt do you want to install it if you press y again the installation process will start i'm going with the n so it will be aborted so this is how we can install and remove any tools or any packages in a kali linux and this is a very important because our kali linux will be supporting a lot of tools as we have discussed in the further session in the previous session right so why the ethical hackers or the hackers will choose this Kali Linux means it will support around hundreds of tools. So in order to hack uh, the system or anything else, right, in the hacking process. So that's why. So this is very important because if any tool is not available, so how to install that particular tool is very important, right? So once again, these are the two commands to install the tool or to remove the tool. So in our next further sessions, I'll give the complete information about this sudo apt get so what is meant by this sudo what is meant by this apt what is meant by this get everything we will discuss in our further session right so hope you understood this uh, process the installation and removing so uh, let us stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this installation and uh, auto remove feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.